The video you're about to see is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be setting up tinfoil on the switch and also the software nut that works with tinfoil. So that way you can be able to install your titles with USB and Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is download these three files for today. The tinfoil self-installer, the nut software, and the tinfoil driver. Now, before I actually continue, I would like to mention that if you already have tinfoil working on your Switch and you don't have any problems with it, then you do not need to download the tinfoil again because I'm going to replace it and I don't want to mess up anybody's setup. So just want to remind y'all, if you already have tinfoil working on your Switch, then skip this step. You don't need to download it. The reason why I'm downloading it is because I haven't used tinfoil in a long time and I've updated my switch to later firmwares and it, does, it doesn't work anymore on my switch. So I have to replace tinfoil. So just one last reminder, those of you that have tinfoil working on your switch, you don't need to download this again. So that being said, those of you that want to update your tinfoil, then you can go ahead and download it. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links, but one of them should say download these files here. Once you click on that link, it should take you to the page where you can download these files. And you may need to scroll down to the bottom of this page, but you're going to look for this that says download tinfoil self installer. Now it'll start the download process. And then after that, you can scroll down here to where it says nut and then click on download nut. Now, once you click on that, it'll take you to the release page for nut software. And you just need to go down here to the assets tab and click on the nut.exe and the tinfoildriver.exe. That's pretty much it. Once you download all these files, you can have a move to the desktop like I have done already. Okay, so once you download all the files, the next thing we're going to do is install tinfoil on the switch. And then after that, install the nut software and the tinfoil driver. But let's focus on tinfoil and the switch first. So with that being said, you're going to want to open up your SD card and it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card, as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. In this video, I'm going to be using the DBI installer app to access my SD card. So let's go ahead and continue. I'm going to enter my SD card here. And before we start adding the tinfoil files, we want to make sure that we get rid of the old files. So before I continue right here, I would like to disclose or disclaimer. I don't know how to say it, but what I mentioned before that if you already have tinfoil working, then you need to skip the step because I'm going to delete an old tinfoil and update it with a newer version. So that means any type of configurations you have are going to be gone. So I just want to let you know. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. So to look for tinfoil, it's going to be in the switch folder. So if you enter the switch folder and you're going to want to look for a folder that says tinfoil. After you find that, just go ahead and click on uh, delete. Yes. So now we have removed tinfoil off the SD card. And what we're going to do now is we need to extract the files from the tinfoil self installer zip file. So I'm going to be using the zipping software 7-zip to extract these files. And if you want to follow along with me exactly, I'll leave a download link to 7-zip in the description as well. But with 7-zip, I'm going to right click on this zip file. And then here on 7-zip, open the archive. And here we can see the folder that uh, will have a uh, tinfoil in it. So just highlight the folder and then extract it to the desktop or wherever you're extracting your files from. So once you extract the folder, we can go ahead and enter the folder. Once you do that, you have a tinfoil folder here and then just go into your SD card. Make sure that you are inside the switch folder because that's where it belongs. And then scroll down to one of these areas here where you don't accidentally put it inside a folder. And that's what I'm going to do here. Now you're going to just go ahead and highlight this file and then copy it into your switch folder. And that's pretty much it. Let the transfer um, go along. Okay, so once the transfer is complete, you should have a tinfoil folder inside your switch folder. So once you have that, then your SD card is good to go. 
you can go ahead and eject out of your SD card because now the next step we're going to do is install tinfoil on the switch. So I'm going to switch to my switch so that way you can see it on the screen and we'll install tinfoil from there. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so here on the switch, before we try to install the new version of tinfoil, we need to uninstall the old version of tinfoil that we have here on the switch home menu. So we did this with the SD card already. We got rid of old tinfoil files, added the new version of tinfoil files. And now here in the switch home menu, we're, we're going to want to get rid of this tinfoil version so that way we can install the new one. So we get rid of it by hovering over it, pressing the plus button on your right Joy-Con, go to manage software, and then go down to delete software. After you get rid of it, now you can go into your HB menu and use the tinfoil self-installer to download the new version of this app. So it doesn't matter how you go into the HB menu here, it'll work with Apple mode and without. So if you don't have a folder, you can go into the album and here in the HB menu, you can scroll till you find the tinfoil installer and just go ahead and click on it. It should start the installation process and go through its uh, initial setup. And there you go. So now we're in tinfoil. So you may get this message here that the game cartridge inserted. Would you like to install it? You're always going to want to click on cancel because I do have a cartridge in there and it's already installed. And if you try to install it, it's going to fail. So I wouldn't recommend uh, installing from here on tinfoil if it's already installed. So that's pretty much it. Now we have tinfoil installed. We can go ahead and now go back to the PC so we can set up the nut and the tinfoil driver. So let's go ahead and leave tinfoil open here and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so now here on the PC, we're going to want to first install the tinfoil driver. So just go ahead and double click on this and it'll open up the driver installation wizard and just click on next. And then that was it. It already installed the driver, the lib USBK for tinfoil ready to use. So if you have ready to use, then you should be good. If you have any type of failure, then I don't know. You can try and ask me in the comments and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But it should say ready to use. And then after that, just go ahead and click on finish. And now we have the driver installed. Now we can go ahead and open nut. It doesn't need to be installed. It just opens up automatically. But when you first run nut, it creates folders uh, like a directory folders. And these are important to open with nut. So in order to keep things organized, you're going to want to create another folder. And I'm going to name it nut. And I'm going to drag the nut software into there. You don't need the driver no more, but I'm going to just do that anyways. So once we go into this folder, now from here, we can go ahead and open the nut software. So this is the first uh, initial start. It's going to start downloading the title DB files and um, it only it will only do this once. It won't do this again when you try to open it. So let's let this finish. OK, so after NUT does its initial uh, startup, then it should pop up the GUI of NUT. And here this is what we're going to be using to do the USB installs and the Wi-Fi installs. But before I get into that, um, we need to just set up nut for one more thing and that's so that way it can load up all your files that you have already. So what I mean by that is if you look on the GUI of nut, you're going to want to look for this tab here that says local scan path. Here, once you click on this, you're going to want to click on browse and then you're going to want to look for where all your files are that you want to install or look at or, you know, you know what I mean. So for me, I have my files in my external um, drive. So I'm going to click on this. And then I have this folder here. I'm going to double click on this. And now we are inside the this directory for this file type. Can't really say much. But once you go into there, you can just go ahead and uh, click on select folder. And now we will have the directory uh, for nut to look for. I'm going to go ahead and add another one because I have a folder for base and I have a folder for updates and things like that. So with the same thing, I'm going to click on browse and then I have another folder here. Double click on that and then I'm going to click on select folder. And that's it.
Once you do that, you can go ahead and click on uh, files again and then click on scan. And if everything goes well, it should pick up all the files from your folder that you're trying to look for your files in. <laughs> it's hard for me not to say a lot of information without uh, giving too much information. But uh, as you can see here, I have my files. And now NUT is ready for um, USB and Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just I'm going to show you all the USB uh, version. And then after that, we're going to set up a Wi-Fi. So that way we can have uh, both of these options available uh, to use with NUT. OK, so starting with the USB option with tinfoil and NUT, I went ahead and added a camera view of my switch. So that way you can see the USB feature in real time. So before I do that, I also moved the software out of the way from the switch view because I want you all to focus on this area here that says USB. Right now it says disconnected because I don't have the switch plugged in. But before I do that, I would like to mention that if your tinfoil driver was installed successfully, then you should be able to plug in your switch with a charging cable to your PC. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And if you focus right here on the nut software, it's going to change from disconnected to connected. And even my tinfoil on my switch should refresh and load up my USB files. So there you go. Loading USB files. And here on nut, it says USB connected. So after that, we should be good to go. So if you want to see the files on your PC, you could just go down to the file browser and then click on the USB. So there you go. Now here you can see all the files that I have set up on the local path on NUT and everything should be good to go. So I really can't show this part of installing. So I'm going to just uh, blur it out, but you could just essentially just pick on one of your files on tinfoil and then it should uh, open up your file on tinfoil and then you could just go ahead and click on install. So this is going to be blurry blurred out but uh, just letting y'all know just showing y'all that it works okay so once it's done installing it should go back into your tinfoil uh, files and if you have any updates then you're going to want to go ahead and install the updates next and then some dlc if you have that as well but i don't have anything for that but i'm just going to show that once i push home i should have it already installed so that's usb installs and it's working for me so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can set up the Wi-Fi installs. OK, now let's take a look at the Wi-Fi option with tinfoil and nut. So if you look under me, you should be able to see my switch again. I already have tinfoil open from the USB setup and I have it in dock mode now. So that way you can see it in better quality. Also, if you look at the nut software here under USB, I am also disconnected. So. When you want to set up the Wi-Fi option here, it's going to be a little bit extra steps, but it's only a one time setup and you shouldn't have to do it again. So before I get into that, I would like to mention that it's also really important that your switch and your PC are on the same network or else it's not going to work. So make sure that they're on the same network. And if they are, then we can go ahead and continue. So here on tinfoil on your switch, you're going to want to locate the tab that is file browser. So here on file browser, you're going to want to push right to go into file browser. And then you're going to want to click on minus to start a new directory. So click on minus and here you're going to see these options uh, to set up. And what you're going to want to do here is go to protocol. You're going to want to push a on protocol and then you're going to want to push down to look for the option that says nut. Once you do that, protocol is set to nut. And here we need to find the host port username and password. So we find that here on the NUT software. Right here on the left side, it has IP address, port, username, and password. So we're going to want to input these options here in order to connect with the PC and the switch. So under host, you're going to want to press A. And in host, this is where we're going to put in the IP address. So you're going to put in your IP address, not mine, but on yours, it should say your IP address, but mine says 192.168. What is it? 022. 
once you have your IP address already set up, you can go ahead and push on plus for OK. And now the host has the IP address. Now we're going to go look for the port, which is 9000. And then click on the plus. Now port is set up. We don't need to do any path. We need to go to username and it's going to be guest. And then push on plus. And then password is also guest. And then type that out. And then push on plus. So if your setup looks like this, but of course with your IP address, then you can go ahead and click on X to save. And tinfoil should refresh and now add your Wi Fi directory. So if you're on the same network and you also have your information from your nut inputted correctly in the directory, you should be able to see in the file browser your new directory that you made for Wi Fi. And once you enter it, you should be able to see your files. So there you go. Now we have Wi Fi install and we can go ahead and do that here. So Another test it again, install this, and surprisingly, it was pretty fast. But of course, I'm going to blur this out, but it was pretty fast to install. 29 megabytes installing. That's it. Once it goes back, we can go ahead and check to see if it did install. And if I push home, it should be installed there. So you can go ahead and go back in. And if you have any updates in DLC, you can go ahead and start that process as well. But the Wi Fi option is working for me. And that's how you set it up. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you're still here with me at the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And also, since everything is working for me just fine, I hope everything's working for you as well. But of course, if it's not, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. You can also leave a comment if it's working as well. Also talking about comments, I'm really sorry for those that I don't get back to uh, with comments. I try my best to keep up with all the comments but I found out uh, recently that YouTube doesn't send me all the comments. Some of them get left unseen. So it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just I never saw it. So I got to filter um, my unresponded comments and there were a lot of comments. So I'm really sorry about that. But I'm bringing that up because several of the comments were asking on how to do the Wi-Fi install portion of Tinfoil and Nut. And I was thinking about just doing a video uh, where I show how to do the Wi-Fi option, but I didn't want to um, do like, it makes me feel like clickbait. If you go into my video and I'm like, oh, if you want to do this, you gotta go watch the other video. So I know I do that sometimes, but in this case, my older video was one year old and I just thought that it would be better to update this whole setup, basic setup, and do this for the last time. So any other questions you may have will probably be update videos, but this is pretty much the basic setup or basic usage of tinfoil and nut Wi-Fi and USB installs and everything's working here. But if you have any other questions, you can leave a comment on that as well. And yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I wish I can post a lot more, but it's busy busy times uh, so I'll be trying to throw some videos here and there so yeah I appreciate those of y'all that watch my videos and that take the time I know there's a new update for uh, firmware but it doesn't break anything so I'm not too worried about it but other than that thank you for watching I love y'all and I'll see you on the next one